Eh, the length of each side of an equilateral triangle ABC is 10 centimeters, calculate the area of the triangle, correct to two decimal places, two marks. B, triangle ABC in 18, A, forms the base of a solid triangular pyramid VABC. The perpendicular height of the pyramid is 15 centimeters, calculate the volume of the pyramid. Two marks. C. The pyramid VABC in 18, B. Above is recast into a cone of base radius 3.5 cm, calculate, correct to two decimal places. 1. The height of the cone, 2 marks. 2. The surface area of the cone, 4 marks. So that is the question. Uh, let's go straight to the first part of the question and see how it's supposed to do it. Now for the first part of the question, you're given the length of uh, an equilateral triangle ABC is 10 centimeters. Calculate the area of that triangle. So we've got this uh, triangle here. There is uh, an equilateral triangle. This is just a sketch, equilateral triangle of sides. Uh, the sides are 10 centimeters. So since it is an equilateral triangle, all the angles are 60 degrees. Now you can use the uh, various formulas. You can use um, the formula that the hero's formula you can use this to get uh, the area we can also use um the formula where we're given two sides and an included angle and that is what i'm going to use so area is equals to a half a b sine of theta where a and b are the two sides uh, that between the angle and then the angle is 60 so a half a and b are 10 10 and then sine of the included angle which is uh, 60 degrees so this will give us the area of that triangle now working out this is a calculator this will give uh, 43.30 43.30 centimeters squared so that is how you're supposed to get the area of that uh, triangle let's go to the second part of the question uh, the second part of the question, you're required to get, um, uh, given the triangle ABC in 18A above, uh, forms the base of a solid triangular pyramid, VABC. The nickel height of the pyramid is 15. Calculate the volume of the pyramid. Now, the first thing you're supposed to ask yourself is, how do we get the volume of the pyramid? The volume of the pyramid is given by a third base area times the height. Now, in this case, we are given that the base of this pyramid forms the triangle that we just uh, calculated there above. So that would be the base area. Therefore, we get a third times the base area. We've got the base area, which is the area of the triangle, to be 43.30. And then times the height of the pyramid, which is 15, as simple as this. So this one is going to give us the volume of the pyramid. And um, calculating these, I'll have be zero times height. This will give 216.5, 216.5 centimeters. And since this one is a volume, this will be cubed. So that is uh, supposed to be the second part. Now we go to the next part of the question. Uh, the next part of the question is about uh, the pyramid VABC in 18 uh, A above is recast. Uh, this is B. I think this one is B above. This pyramid here that uh, we've just uh, created that is an B 18 B above. Let me correct that. Now that pyramid is recast into a cone of base radius 3.5 centimeters. Calculate. Correct to decimal places. Uh, let me see whether the first one is supposed to give to two decimal places not two decimal places that is okay the first one was okay now two decimal places the height of the cone now once this pyramid is cast into a cone there's something that is supposed to know that the volume of the cone will be equal to the volume of uh, this one is the pyramid That is one important thing you're supposed to know. 
if the pyramid is to be recast into that cone, the volume of the cone and the volume of the pyramid should be equal. Now, we have already got the volume of the pyramid, which is 216. The volume of the pyramid, which is uh, 216 point, uh, this is just above here, 0.5. This should be equal to the volume of the cone. How do you get the volume of the cone? The volume of the cone is obtained by a third base area times height. Same way. So this would be a third times the base area of that cone. Uh, when you look at the base area of that cone that is given there, uh, this one I told is a circular cone. Okay. Um, of the radius of course given the radius the radius is that 3.5 it is here so therefore the base is circular and if the base is circular we get it by the base area will be the circle 22 over 7 that is pi r squared times 3.5 times 3.5 that is how we get the base area of a cone pi r squared because it's a circle then multiply by the height so that is um the expression of the equation that is going to give us the value of h or the height. Now make h the subject of the formula. You make uh, the h the subject of the formula, you get h will be equal to uh, 216.5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7, everything divided by 22 times 35 times 3.5. Um, you just need to use the calculator to do this, 216 uh, times 3 uh, times um, 7 divided by 22 times, uh, this one gives 16.87 centimeters. So this is the height of that cone. The last question, the surface area of the cone, the surface area of the cone. Now one thing that is supposed to understand is how do you get the surface area of the cone? The surface area of the cone is given by the area of the circular base which is given by pi r squared plus the area of the curved surface which is pi r l now in that cone i can try to just sketch that cone here so for this cone uh, what we have we don't have the slant height we don't have the slant height but we have um, we, we basically we have the height of this cone we have the height of this cone so if you sketch it um, the height is given as what the height is already here we've already obtained the height so height is 16.87 so the height is uh, 16.87 and then the radius is 3.5 so to get um, the slant height, you can so you can see this one forms um, a right angle triangle. So to get uh, the slant height, we'll simply use Pythagoras theorem, uh, which will be 16.87 squared plus 3.5 squared. That is what is going to give us the slant height of that cone, which is L. Now working out these. Um, 16.8 squared plus 5. This, this will give um, 296.8. Uh, when you get the square root of this, you get uh, this will be 17.23. 17.23. So that is how you get the slant height of the cone because you require this to get the surface area. We're simply using that rectangle triangle. And after getting that, now we can proceed and get the surface area. The surface area is therefore given by pi r squared, which is the area of the base, circular base, which is 22 over 7 times 3.5 times 3.5 plus pi r times l, which is 17.23. So this is the area of the circular base. This is the area of the curved surface. So working out this using the calculator. 22 over 7 times 3.5 times 38.5. We'll give 38.5. And then the other part will give, we'll give 22 over 7. This is 89.5. 
now adding the two adding the two uh, this will give 228 228.03 now you're going to give the answer correct to no there are no uh, correct two decimal places of course uh two decimal places that is okay so this is the surface area that con and that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question